So the next version of the Aptera will be the Delta version, which is pre-production, which means very much like the car we're going to actually drive. Yes. I have a list of demands. And by demands, I mean requests, <laughs> things that I really hope that we'll see in Delta. And then I have a few pretty over the top things that I feel if you want to put together a Drive the Lightning edition of the Aptera that we could put together. Yeah, it needs to be able to fly. Well, maybe okay, not. But before we get to that, please, in the comments, let us know what is on your Aptera Delta wish list. That is, what is it you really hope makes production? Sarah, what is on your wish list? Well, my first couple are extremely winter-centric. I'm a little bit concerned. San Diego has really nice weather. Carlsbad has really nice weather. So, yesterday in Michigan, it got really cold. And when I say really cold, I mean a little bit cold. Just enough to remind you that the miserable, real, nasty cold is coming. So, that gets me to my wish list item, heated seats, rear window defrost. It is so hard getting into a car where you feel like you're sitting down on a block of ice and that is exactly what it is like when your car has been outside overnight in freezing temperatures. So I really hope it will have heated seats because our Leaf currently has heated seats. Uh, and then the rear window defrost. That is standard on most vehicles. If there's a camera element to the rear view mirror, then maybe we won't need to defrost the back windshield, but still I'm used to checking and seeing, you know, being able to look behind us. We have neighbors that kids play out in the street. So I'd like to be able to visually check and make sure that they're, I'm not running over any of the neighbors' kids. It almost sounds like, Sarah, <laughs> that you're saying that because the builders of Aptera in California, that they've never seen cold weather. They have no idea how these things work. That that's my fear. That might be true. Yeah, that might I'm, be true. There's a lot that goes into winter living and it's challenging. So those are two things that would make my winters a lot less challenging. And for me, I want to be able to turn off the regen braking because regen braking is amazing to be able to drive just one footed like you can with the Chevy Bolt, the BMW i3. Most modern electric cars have such aggressive motor braking that you really only need the go pedal. You take it off and it starts to stop. It's a little less aggressive with the leaf, but here's why I like to be able to turn it off. Yeah, why? I don't, I don't need, I'll tell you, I'm trying to tell you why. I don't need a bunch of drive modes like the, the leaf has the drive mode, the B mode, which is more aggressive braking, and then the uh, echo, echo mode. mode. Some have like a bunch of modes. I just want to be able to turn it off because I watched this cool video about the Lightyear Zero, the other electric solar powered car over from the Netherlands. And they say when you get on the highway and you just take your foot off the go pedal, it just glides because of the efficiency. Oh. And Aptera is more efficient and more lightweight, and it's just going to be an amazing thing to get on the highway, take your foot off the pedal, and just be able to glide. And if you go downhill really fast, you might just soar. Oh, if you hit a bump, you might. <laughs> so that's just two of our wish lists. Before we get to more, let's ask this important question. Have you pre-ordered your Aptera solar-powered supercar yet? If not, use the link in the description and save $30 compliments of one of our viewers. Which viewer? Stay to the end, we'll show you whose link we used. And you will save 30 bucks on your pre-order, and that viewer will save some money off their Aptera purchase. Now let's get on with the show. Okay, back to our list. Sarah. Yes. Okay, so the next thing that is on my wish list is a it, it's to do with a cup holder, but I was thinking about it, and while I think the cup holder that we saw in Gamma will hold my giant water bottle. You mean the one with the mesh strings? Yes, the one with like the cargo net mesh, which I have no problem with. I, However, I almost never have just my water. I'm usually carrying a coffee and a water, or I'm getting a Diet Coke and a water. So I would love it if there was some cargo netting along a surface of some kind, even if it's the back seats, on the back of the seats, where I could stick my giant water bottle and it doesn't roll We know around. the Leaf has that second one in the door, but that would not work with the Aptera. Could you imagine you put a big Diet Coke I mean, in the door? I don't know if you can you figure out <laughs> how to make it work. Get but a Diet Coke shower. Yeah, that, that, um, so I'm thinking not the door as a secondary cup holder, but I hope there is some kind of a secondary cup holder or just general storage area where I could be able to, if it has like cargo netting, I could stick my giant water wow, bottle. you're kind of high maintenance auto owner. <laughs> All of a sudden EV. too. I've never <laughs> been picky before. Well, What's up? Here's another one on my <laughs> list and this is one I just learned about recently and was instantly enamored with it. And that's a LCD camera powered rear view mirror mm -hmm. instead of just glass. Yeah. 
Could you imagine that? We saw this with Dave Huerta's Chevy Bolt and it blew our minds. And with the Aptera, it could be especially cool because if that is a screen attached to a mirror instead of glass, then you could put a divider between the driver, passenger, and the back area, reducing any road noise or any mother-in-law squeals if she's in the back or the kids playing in the hatch while you're driving on the highway. All that stuff can be blocked out because you don't need to see through that. Right. Very true. And I again, that. I that, want that. I want that. That goes back to what I was saying too with the rear window defrost. Maybe we won't need that if we have a camera. Although our we have a camera on the back of our Nissan Leaf and it shows it doesn't display in the rearview mirror, but it displays on a screen and it gets iced over. It does. And we can't see using it. So it does get iced over, I yeah. hope that there will be some kind of heating element or something that you can do to, to prevent that from happening. Why is it you get to go back to your list and rehash your list more? Because yours applied to mine. It's your turn. Okay. The next thing that I would love to see. Demand. Next thing she demands. My next demand is I love the knock knock outside to get in. Isn't that but cool? I would love it if there was a surface or an area where you could knock knock on the inside to close the doors um, or a push button closed door or something because I'm not still 100% clear on, on how the door closing works. Um, so I, if there was a push button option, that would make it the easiest. That I would love that. When we sat in the Gamma, they closed the doors for us. Mm -hmm. And you know, in the Alpha, which we've been in, there's a strap you grab and pull down and in, and it's fine. Yeah, I had no it's problem fine, with the strap. It would be nice if you could just say on your, you know, on your Google Pixel watch, you know, close the doors. Yeah. Aptera closed the doors. Yeah, that would be nice. Didn't work. Yeah. Okay, or whatever. <laughs> but if there's some way to close them that's kind of automated uh, but not dangerous. Yeah, I think that would be... Because like your leg, you didn't get your leg all the way in there and you hit the closed door button and boom, no more leg. I'm sure it has some... We'll have some safety modules built in where it's not going to okay. close on your leg. My next one has to do with the entertainment, infotainment center, whatever we okay. call that screen. Mm -hmm. There's like 30 names for it. Every car has one, including the Nissan Leaf seen here. This is where you're going to see your maps. This is where you're going to see what calls are coming in and going out. Also so where you're, you're going to control your, control your, your fan heating, cooling, and fan. your heating, cooling. Yeah, I want this to control. have app Android Auto as an option on there and maybe whatever Apple version is. I don't know. But you know, the Android Auto so I can just tap it into my Pixel phone and boom, run all of my stuff. Yeah. So I, I need that. Get yeah. that for me, please. Yeah. Please. So those are the few things that we really want to see in the Delta version of the Aptera, please make sure in the comments you're letting us know. Now we're gonna tell you our, our dream list here in a moment, but before we do that, we need to say thank you to some people, yes. our members of the channel. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Membership costs $5, you get early access, you get some outtakes, you get some community posts, and things like that. But we know the real reason you do it is because you just want to support us, and we are spending your money regularly. <laughs> thank, so you thank you so much. <laughs> Camera gear is expensive, by the way. <laughs> so we really, we're not joking. Thank you very yes. much. Also, Bob, thank you for the coffee. We really appreciate your support. Yes. Since we've been doing this, you've really been there for us. Thank you. Thank you so much. Jerry and Helen, two of our favorite people in the universe. Thank you thank for you. buying us more coffee. Yeah. You know, sometimes it actually does go to coffee. Sometimes cat food. Sometimes microphones and cameras. But we can't thank you enough for the support. Now, for our wish list, this is our dream at Terra Drive the Lightning Edition. What yes. would that have? And let us know in the comments. Sorry, you okay? No, let I'm us, excited. Just, uh, let us know in the comments what would your dream at Terra Edition have? Yes. Sarah, what's on yours? Massaging seats. I want Ooh. my seats to give me a nice massage. That'd that would be, be nice. perfect. I wonder if my wife once in a while the gave me a massage. Heating and massage seats. Okay. Yes, that's that's uh, my Drive the Lightning Edition dream list. I want the yoke to be heated. Okay. That would be nice. Mm -hmm. I, I can live without okay. it, but I don't want to. I also want the yoke to be cooled because what people don't know about Michigan is that not only is it insanely cold, it's terribly hot. It's stupid hot. It's beautiful here. That's why we live here. All the children are above average. All the women are beautiful, but it's too cold and it's too hot and there's no in the middle. It's one or the other every day. So cooling steering wheel, <laughs> because if you've ever gotten into your steering wheel when it's hot, even you y'all in California know this, mm -hmm. it can be really hot. Yeah. I also want cooling off. seats. Yes. Is on my dream Drive the Lightning Edition. Okay. Yes, that would be what fantastic. Else? 
Also, I would like to have the user interface have voice command, and I would like to be able to set its wake word because I want to be able to say, Kit, cool my seats. Yeah, and have it hooked to your watch, you know. You, okay, Kit, you know, and then call you up to yeah. that. Yeah. I think Which reminds me, on my regular list and also on the Drive the Lightning Edition, I would like to add to my wish list uh, that there will be a, a, an app where I can remotely set my climate control before I leave my house. That's big here. Big, big, big deal. Big, big deal. deal here. Yes. So those are a couple of things on the dream list. Also, the wrap has to have our logo. Yes, and if possible, lightning bolts on the seats. And lightning bolts all over the like place. Like not real lightning yeah. bolts, Just but like pictures the background of lightning here. bolts. Yeah. Yeah, but but only you know not yellow seats, but black seats with little orange lightning bolts. Yeah. You can do that. Yeah. You can do you that. You can do that. If you, just, you if want you just to. want to do that, <laughs> you can do that. So that's the Drive the Lightning that's Edition. Drive the Lightning Edition of the Antera. <laughs> what is your dream edition? Please in the comments. If you're curious, hey, Chan, Sarah, how did you decide whose code to use for the pre order link in the description? What scientific What's method, the scientific did method? you use to get this accomplished? It's this one. That's just one in a long line of Aptera videos we've amassed on this channel. Mm -hmm. Do you want to see another one? If not, just go away now. If you do, <laughs> there'll be one right over my face. Try to enjoy that if you can. This is where we talk to Chris Anthony, the CEO. Thank you. Co-CEO. Yeah. Have a great day. Thumbs up to all y'all. <laughs>